Hello, I'm Will with A to Z Tire, and I just wanted to put a quick video together on tire sizes, how to decode what those tire sizes mean. I think this will be part of a series of videos on how to decode the, decode the whole sidewall of a tire, but for right now I just want to emphasize the tire sizes. I look at tire sizes and think that there are three categories. Some sizes are a metric, some are English, and the last category I put into them are an older tire size, and I call that an, an incomplete English. So why are there different sizes? Over time they've kind of changed on how much information they need on the tire, how precise the tire size is, and uh, as we become more and more modern, uh, everyone seems to be adopting the metric tire size, but there are still some older tire sizes out there. Uh, English tire size is very common on uh, mud terrains for pickups, maybe ATVs, and uh, maybe some other tires that I can't really think of, but those are the two that it's really common to have an English tire size. The last size is more of an industrial tire. Um, so a tractor tire size on here, maybe a, uh, a grader or a forklift or something like that. So, in the first one, uh, I've got a metric size. We have a 225 6016. This is a little bit older touring tire, uh, but still very good size, very good seller. Uh, so it's very common. The 225 is actually the width of the tire and it's from sidewall to sidewall and 225 doesn't tell you enough but it's a 225 in millimeters from sidewall to sidewall uh, the 60 is an aspect ratio or a series or a profile and what the 60 means is that the uh, sidewall here is 60 percent of the width or in this case the sidewall is about 135 millimeters. It's the same on the top as it is on the bottom or all the way around the tire. But the bigger this number is, the more cushion or the more cushiony feel the tire will have. And the smaller the number, the more of a performance tire it will have. And uh, you'll definitely feel the road as that series or profile gets smaller and smaller. The last number on here is the rim diameter. And this is in inches. So now we have a 225 60 16. Again, a very common size, and most cars, pickups, uh, SUVs are going to have metric tire sizing. <clears throat> so let's get into our next tire size here, which I've labeled as English, and I'll show you why. It may seem a little confusing if you've dealt with the metric size all the time, but uh, English is, is actually pretty simple. So the first number here is 31. 31 is the overall diameter. And I've labeled it English because it's in inches. So if you want a taller tire, uh, this first number is going to have to be bigger. So this 31, 1050, 15 is 31 inches in overall diameter. We have a 1050. The width is 10.5 inches wide and it's on a 15 inch wheel. So there you have a 31, 10, 50, 15. There may be more common ATV sizes, but they'll follow that same kind of pattern. Over di overall diameter, width, and then the rim diameter. The last size on here is the tractor size that we've got, and it's a 20.838. Well, the only thing that's common with all three of these is the last number is the rim diameter. So 38 is the rim diameter, and 38 is in inches. The 20.8, you only have one number now instead of two. So the 20.8 is may surprise some people, but that's actually the width. And it's the width in inches. So this may be on an older tractor. As the sizes progress into more modern sizes, they're doing away with the English. And uh, something else to note too on this 20.838, within different brands or within styles of different brands, the sidewall height may be different from one tire to the next. So in that way it's important if you're running a four-wheel drive tractor that you don't want to mess up the gear ratios. You need the right height ratio between one tire to the next or between the left and the right to make sure that you're still on a level footing. Now let's look at converting that to a metric size. On the metric size, the 38 will still be at the end. 
and more metrics are radial, so I'll put an R there. And to convert the, the width from 20.8 inches, keep in mind that one inch is equal to 25.4 millimeters. So if we want to approximate that, we'd look at about a 520 millimeter width. Sounds pretty big. Uh, also, older sizes have a generally an aspect ratio or a profile of about 85. So if you have a tractor with a 20.838, you'd be looking for a replacement size and metric of around 520.85.38. And again, it may change from one brand to the next, but I hope that helped uh, decode something about tire sizes. Thank you.